and welcome to Blue Lab's official video on how to use the Blue Lab pH meter. We will show you how to set up the meter for the first use, calibrate the pH probe, and take readings. We have tips for care and storage at the end of the video. Open the battery cover. Place supplied batteries in the compartment with terminals at the correct ends. Slide the cover back on. Blue Lab recommends using only alkaline batteries. Start by removing the replaceable pH probe from the box. Connect the pH probe to the pH meter by lining up the lugs of the B and C fittings. Fasten securely by pushing the pH probe connector on and twisting one quarter turn. You need to calibrate the pH probe to the meter before you take readings. If this is the first time using the pH probe, you don't need to clean it before calibrating. Calibrate your pH probe to two points for accuracy. Use freshly poured pH 7.0 and pH 4.0 calibration solutions. Turn the meter on. Place the probe in pH 7.0 solution. Be sure to wait until the reading has stopped moving. Press and hold the calibrate button until the display shows C-A-L. The pH 7 indicator will be displayed. The pH 4 indicator will flash to let you know that pH 4.0 calibration is now required. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water and place in pH 4.0 solution. Be patient and wait for the reading to stop. Remember, it may take a few minutes. Now press and hold the calibrate button until CAL appears on the screen. Then release the button. You have successfully calibrated when you see both calibration indicators on the screen. Rinse the probe in clean tap water. Discard all used solution after calibration. Never put them back in the bottle as you will contaminate the solution. Clean and calibrate the pH probe each month to ensure accurate readings. The calibration indicators will disappear one month after the last successful calibration to remind you it's time to calibrate again. To store the pH probe when not in use, always ensure the pH probe tip is wet. If it dries, it dies. Check that there is enough Blue Lab pH probe KCL storage solution in the cap to cover the probe tip. If not, add KCL solution to ensure the probe tip will be covered. Place the cap back on the probe. Twist the top counterclockwise to secure. Always store the pH probe in KCL storage solution. Never use RO water, distilled, or deionized water. Pure water changes the chemistry in the probe, causing the probe to die. The pH probe comes with a suction cup to prevent permanent damage to the glass probe. Remove the pH probe storage cap. Gently twist the suction cup onto the stem of the pH probe. Now you are ready to use. To take a measurement, lightly push the suction cup onto the side of the reservoir, far enough down so the pH probe is in the solution. You can hold the pH probe so the tip is in the solution if you're taking readings from multiple locations. Ensure the probe does not knock or bump anything in the reservoir. To obtain a pH reading of your solution, wait until the reading on the screen stops moving. It may take a few minutes. The pH probe is not suitable for measuring distilled RO or deionized water without added nutrients, as the ionic strength is too low for an accurate pH measurement to occur. Remember, if you're taking measurements from different solutions, always rinse the pH probe using clean tap water to remove traces of the nutrient solution and ensure accurate readings. The pH meter automatically turns off after four minutes. If the meter turns off before a reading is taken, press any button to turn it back on. To maximize the life of your meter and equipment, we recommend these care steps. Keep the pH probe tip wet. If it dries, it dies. Follow the full cleaning procedure for the pH probe each month. You can watch the Blue Lab pH meter cleaning and calibration video online if you need a refresher. Store the pH probe in Blue Lab pH probe KCL storage solution. Store the meter in a cool, dry, clean place. Keep out of direct sunlight. If the meter gets wet, wipe dry immediately. If you're storing the meter for a month or more, remove the batteries and the pH probe. Special features of our pH meter, large, easy to read display, simple push button pH calibration, replaceable double junction pH probe included, 
successful pH calibration indicators that remind you when recalibration is needed, overrange and underrange indicators, two AAA alkaline batteries included, auto off function, low battery indicator. We at Blue Lab hope you enjoy using your Blue Lab pH meter. For more information about Blue Lab products, visit www.getbluelab.com.